Hello everybody, welcome, welcome to the channel. And today I was supposed to make a video on cloud security, specifically AWS cloud security, but I had to change the topic guys because of the amount of messages that I was getting regarding the layoffs which are happening within the industry, you know. It's like we are living in a very tough job market right now. And you know, big tech used to be a very safe area to work in, right? A few years back, but unfortunately, layoffs are still going on, right? From 2023, layoffs are still continuing now cyber security is still in demand but it is you are not immune to these difficulties right and i know many many experienced people in cyber security who are getting laid off and on top of that so many newcomers are finding it more and more difficult to stand out in a saturated job market right so that's why i've made this video today to like make sure that in such an environment it is very very important to make sure you have the skills to stay in demand in 2024 and beyond. And that's why I wanted to repeat something which I've said many, many times before on this channel, but I'll repeat again that nowadays certifications do not make you stand out in cybersecurity. Instead, you need to focus on those skills that are directly tied to how the markets are changing, you know? Like the market, the cybersecurity job market is changing, right? And you need to get the skills to make sure that that make you recession proof. So that even like if God forbid you lose your job or like there is a recession, you have those skills which are in demand. And that's what I wanted to talk about today. Before you move ahead, guys, please do like and subscribe to this channel. I on a weekly basis, I talk about cloud security, AI and general service security career advice. So the first skill I want to talk about, which is extremely important, which is uh, threat modeling. Now, what is threat modeling? Now, we are living in an application driven world, right? Applications are everywhere. And to assess the risk in these applications, your standard, you know, vanilla risk assessments are no longer enough. You know, the, the days of creating Excel sheets, you know, how we people used to do, right? We used to make Excel sheets containing the IT risk. Those are like going away, unfortunately. Don't get me wrong. We still need to do those side of risk assessments from a governance perspective but they cannot capture the details which are there in today's applications right today's applications are quite complex and you need to know uh, skills of threat modeling threat modeling is a type of you can say risk assessment which is focused towards applications right they capture the details of applications things like entry points exit points trust levels what are the type of attacks that can happen there are many many methodologies present like stride like that if you're not familiar with stride right it's like spoofing tampering repudiation disclosure denial of service elevation of privilege all these sort of attacks and what they violate within cyber security those are covered so threat modeling is an extremely important skill and not enough people have it as more and more applications are being uh what do you call as uh, companies are moving more and more towards applications threat modeling is a skill which is like very much in demand and very much like in a shortage most people they know how to do penetration tests they know how to do vulnerability assessments or standard risk assessments like templates copied from somewhere but they do not know how to do threat modeling so please do check this out this is an extremely important skill to cultivate let's move on to the next skill so the next one i want to talk about is ai security if you are if you've been watching my videos this is something I talk about all the time. AI is extremely in demand right now. It's massively hot. And AI security skills are completely lacking within most cybersecurity professionals. What most people do is they just think about when they talk about AI security, they think that they're going to put in some sort of a software in place, right? Buy some product from a vendor which is powered by AI. And that's it. Now I've like secured my AI systems. It does not work like that. AI security is a complete field. And as more companies are implementing AI systems, as more companies are jumping onto generative AI, they're plugging in those APIs to their systems, right? Things like Copilot, ChatGPT APIs, they are looking for professionals with the skills to secure the systems. So with AI, what happens is AI brings new types of risks that were not present before. And protecting these systems against these type of attacks, it is becoming a very, very hot niche in the coming years, right now and in the coming years. So, but it's not just like like i said there is no certification for this not now at least and there is no tool you need to understand how machine learning works how attacks like data poisoning can happen how to secure data pipelines to make yourself stand out i've made many many videos i've made a complete guide on how to get started in ai security i'll try to link it here right 
you can refer to that video if you want to get a basic understanding of how somebody can start a, start a career in AI security, okay? The next topic related to this is AI risk management. Now, AI risk management is important because AI security does not exist in a vacuum. So in to secure AI systems, you need a proper governance framework in place, right? And many, many standards or regulations are coming out which are going to change how AI systems are going to be developed in the future. We have things like the upcoming, uh, like the NIST framework, right? It, it is going to become this benchmark for the industry to develop secure and safe AI. And companies want GRC professionals who know the NIST framework and they can tell them how to like implement this sort of framework within their company, right? I've made a complete video, I think last week, on these sort of AI governance and AI risk management frameworks, okay? So if you, you're familiar with NIST, the NIST cybersecurity framework, the NIST AI risk management framework is similar to that. It has something called the core, which goes into like things like govern, measure, manage, and map, all these sort of AI risks, right? And it tells you how to create a complete governance and risk management framework, which is uniquely like built around AI systems. So if you're not familiar with that, the NIST framework is freely available and you can start learning that. The other one, the most important thing regulation is coming out, which is the EU AI Act, which is the first regulation on artificial intelligence. This is going to be massive. If you're familiar with the GDPR, right, for data privacy, this EU AI Act is going to do the same thing for AI, what GDPR did for data privacy. It basically, what it does is, it will classify AI systems into like four categories, right? Unacceptable risk, high risk, limited risk, and minimal risk. And then you will have to do actions based on that. The most important is the high risk because there you will need to do assessments and you will need to do a risk assessment, find out what the issues are within these systems. The other ones, like if it's a limited risk system, you can just disclose, like be transparent. Minimal risk does not have any obligation. And there are other systems like unacceptable risk which are banned. So these are the sort of regulations and this skill is going to be extremely in demand. So if you are a GRC professional, this is another field you want to check out. And last, of course, but not least is cloud security. Why am I mentioning cloud security? Well, I mean, that, that's kind of my job, but the cloud security and AI are directly linked. Why is that? Because as more and more companies adopt AI, it will drive more adoption of cloud services. AI needs massive amount of processing power and storage and not many companies can afford to host these in-house. So the cloud is going to be the backbone on which these AI systems are going to be hosted. So I hope you understand why. So the more AI is implemented, the more AI is adopted, the more cloud security is going to become like important. And cloud security is a massive field with so many career paths and certifications. I've made many, many videos. I've made a complete video on how to get started in uh, cloud security so you can check that out. So these are the skills I wanted to talk about, guys, which you can focus on right now. Even if you have a job and you're secure, please do not neglect this and build upon these skills. Certifications are not that important nowadays as much as skills. And lastly, one very, very important thing I want to talk about is building your own personal brand. What is your personal brand? It is your own, like your, what you can say, the thing you are known for outside your job, right? You can do many things. You can write on Medium or create a newsletter. Uh, create a YouTube channel like this, start teaching courses on Udemy. But the thing is, your personal brand will stay with you regardless of wherever you are, whether you have a job or not, because by creating content, by, by creating your own brand, you will basically create a sort of insurance policy against recessions and against getting laid off. And if you spend time on it, and you can even get it monetized. And lastly, if you still need help, please do check out my course, which I've made specifically to help people out who are trying to get into cybersecurity, who are trying to increase their chances of improving, like getting a high paying job. So I hope this was useful to you, everybody. Please do like and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video.